Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Lyman for those of you new to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my first mod pack for Melody of Memory. So if you're not in the loop on the modding scene, I along with a few others like WaterKH and Demo, have been working really hard to create custom charts for this game. For now, we're still waiting on Water's mod tool to release, but while that's in the works, I figured I'd be able to release a separate mod for everyone to mess with in the meantime. If you want to check out the progress on modding, I'll leave a link in the description below to all our channels and relevant posts. So, getting into the actual meat of things, this right here is Melody of Memory HD Remastered Mod Pack. Basically what it does is replace the original PS2 MIDI songs from Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 with the remastered versions that were introduced in the HD collections. As per usual, the links to download and install will be included in the description below, so let's just dive right on into how to get this thing started, shall we? So this is the Nexus mod page, but it hasn't actually gone live yet as of this recording, and I'm not too sure if it ever will since it's marking my files as suspicious right here. <laughs> but if it ever does, then the instructions to download and install are right here on the page. On the other hand, the current release is out on my GitHub page right now and includes the same files and instructions. For now, I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step using this page. The instructions are pretty clear, but just in case someone isn't able to follow it, this is the exact reason I'm making the video. So, the first step here is to download the actual song packs, which can be found in either of these links right here. You only need to download one of them, so don't waste your time downloading both of them. <laughs> So after downloading and extracting the files, you should end up with the remasters folder. Within the folder should have a 1.5 and 2.5 folder, and then a Kingdom Hearts 3 folder. So if we go into my downloads folder right here, I've already unzipped it. And just like the picture says, it has the two folders. So that's all we need there. So the next step is to download the three batch files. If you don't know how to use GitHub, batch files are up top, and you can just go to code, and then download zip. Once you've downloaded it, you should have the zip right here, unzip it, and it should give you these three files. Uh, I think it also gives you the readme, I'm not too sure. This is my old one that is outdated, so ignore that. So once you've downloaded all the files, you have to create a new folder and place the remasters folder and the three batch files inside. So you can name this folder whatever you want, and the contents of the folder should now look like this. So, basically, after you've extracted everything, you just take these four and throw it into a folder, right here. So once everything is in the same folder, run the first step batch file located in the pack to create the backups of your original songs. This is super important. If you don't create the backups of the original songs, you won't be able to reinstall the original songs ever, and that might cause some issues, especially if some of these songs don't work for you. And there is already a known issue section in the readme, so if you don't want to wait until everything is fixed completely, you definitely want to have a backup of your original songs. So to create your backups, you just run the first file, like this. If your game is downloaded in the default area, then you shouldn't have to enter a game directory, but if not, then you have to look for your folder. In my case, I have it in my C drive, games folder, and kh underscore mom. So if you're having trouble looking for the folder, just look up kh underscore mom and then hit enter. So once that is done, you should have an originals folder in your creative folder for the mod. This just has all of your original songs. You should have 149 items, I believe. I have a few extras because my mods are in there as well. Now once you have finished creating the backups, run the second step batch file located in the pack. For subsequent uses, you only need to run this batch file. You don't have to keep making backups every time. So basically, you don't ever need to use this again unless you delete this folder by accident. Now, for this installer, you just run the installer and follow the instructions. So make sure you've read the readme and created your backup files like I've said many times before. After you've done all that, you can just choose an option, Originals, Remasters, or Kingdom Hearts 3. So for this case, let's do Remasters. You just enter 2, and then again, since I don't have the default directory, I have to type mine in. And then you just let it run. Once it's done, you just hit any key to continue, and it should be there. So if you are confused about the three options that are in the installation file, the originals option will undo all replacements and reset you with the original songs. 
Remasters will replace your songs with the remastered versions from the HD collections and Kingdom Hearts 3 will replace your songs with the Kingdom Hearts 3 versions. Also, this is very important. Please note that some Kingdom Hearts 3 songs will overlap with the remasters. Basically what this means is that Kingdom Hearts 1 has go for it and Kingdom Hearts 3 also has go for it. So if you run the remastered installation part, then you'll have all the remastered songs, but if you run Kingdom Hearts 3 after that, then go for it will be replaced with the Kingdom Hearts 3 version. You can't have both at the same time, but it's real simple to just switch back and forth with the installer and I'll show you that in a bit. So lastly, before we get into the game, there's an optional batch file that is included that can help you create a save backup just in case something happens. It's very rare, but I have had crashes whenever I've been using this mod pack, and I'm pretty sure it's because I've been switching back and forth numerous times without closing the game. But that's been like a super super rare occurrence, so don't worry about closing the game every time you have to install a different pack. But anyways, it's really simple to create a save backup, so you should do it just in case something ever happens. So, one last thing I want to show you guys before I end this video. You don't have to close the game before you replace the pack. Basically, as long as you don't hover over any song that is going to be replaced, then you'll be good. So this right here is the 13th Dilemma remastered version that's playing right now. If we go into the options menu, let's install Kingdom Hearts 3. And it's as simple as that. And there we go. <laughs> like I said, I have had crashes doing it this way, but very, very rarely. So if you want to make a save backup, go ahead and do that. But I haven't had it cause any issues on my save so far. So I don't think there's anything to worry about that, but just in case. But yeah, guys, that is my Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory Remastered Pack. Uh, this is the very first version. I have a couple of issues I need to work out, and I also have to add some songs that I apparently missed. I forgot some songs. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this mod. It was really fun to make. I plan on creating more, and I plan on making custom charts as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!